Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I do not have any intro, so I'm just kind of winging this. Um, new series, follow me at the thrift store. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's kind of fun. Um, in this video, I get caught recording. So most of the video is a voiceover, but the part where I get caught, you're definitely going to hear what happened and what the result was. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and we're going to get this uh, thrift store video rolling. Okay, Bolo Buddies, thanks for being here. Let's go shopping. Um, got my cart. And I'm going to head over to the shoes and the hats and the accessories and stuff like that. And then we're going to head over to the hard goods. And as I mentioned, I do get caught. But you guys will have to stay tuned to see what happens. Oh my goodness. I wish I would have had like a plan. Like if you get caught, what should you say? You know, like I wasn't expecting, like I didn't think it was a big deal. So anyhow, I was trying to be discreet. And I do feel like people were watching me. There's a Kuji or I don't know how to say it. I think it's Kuji. I've always said Kuji, but I've heard of other people say it different ways. So how do you guys say it? Do you say it Kuji? Comment below. Let me know. So I'm just kind of walking over to where I know they keep the plush at this store. This store, I don't typically buy a lot at this store. I feel like it's hit and miss when I go thrifting, and this store is usually more of a miss. I'm not saying I never buy anything, but I don't know. Do you guys feel like you have some stores you do better at than others? So there's a bunch of, like, angels, uh, figurines here. And then I'm going to take you over here to the plush. This big guy right here. I was trying to look at his tag, but I wasn't having much luck holding the camera and trying to focus in on the tag. So let's see if I can, uh, I can at least show you what he looks like. I did not get him. I ended up passing. I think he's from, um, that Christmas, uh, show. You guys used to watch it when you're kids. I'm sure it's like the older one or is it, or is it the monster from frozen? Gosh, I don't know. Now that I think about it, cute little draft. I didn't get it. I put it back. Um, I just did a category video on bedding items to look for in the bedding category. There are some definite bolos for that. So definitely check out that video. I'm not sure if it's posted yet or not. Um, I usually record videos and then I have them ready and I just kind of throw them up whenever. So be on the lookout for it if it's not up already. A bedding bolo category video. That was kind of cute. Okay, so I'm taking you over here to this fringe. I think it's suede. It's really, really cute, but I could not find a tag. So I just decided to uh, pass because I didn't want to put the phone down. So yeah, pretty cute though. It was in nice condition. Okay, so I have a question. Do you guys have, do your Goodwills have food? I think it's so weird that this Goodwill has food. Um, there's a turntable. And it's right there. And it's got the speakers and stuff. They wanted, I think, $68 or $69 for it. I did not get it. I actually was going to look up comps while I was in the store and I forgot. So I did look it up when I went out to the car. And it was not something that... I wanted to uh, get. I passed. Uh, let's see what else. Scrapbooking items. I do good with scrapbooking items. Typically bread and butter, but um, hey, you know, it all adds up. So if I can pick up scrapbooking stuff cheap, I will definitely do it. I typically will pick it up at garage sales when I can bundle it. So let's say I walk up to a garage sale, they have a bunch of scrapbooking items. I'll say, hey, can I buy all of your scrapbooking items for this set price? 
and then I put it in small lots on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And again, trying to be discreet while recording. So when I'm switching aisles, I'm holding the phone down. I try not to record people. I try to be respectful of people's privacy. Different YouTubers do different things. That's just my personal preference. So you will not see other people shopping in my video. You might get some feet or some legs, but um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, supplies like school supplies, office supplies, things like that. Some of those can be a bolo, so I always check that section. Picture frames, I never pick up picture frames. Maybe if I found a cute one I that might do good on Poshmark, maybe, but so far, I take that back. I do have a picture frame that is uh, one of those ones, what do you call it? It's like a box so that things sit back in it. Oh, what is it called? A shadow box type frame. I do have one of those listed. Curling irons, stuff like that. Nah. I know some of those um, curling irons and stuff can be a bolo sometimes. But I didn't feel like looking them up. Party supplies... Thrift stores are tough for me. I feel like a lot of times things are overpriced and I really like my garage sales. So today, earlier today, I went to the Goodwill bins and I did my first Goodwill bins video. So I'm guessing that one's going to post first. So if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. And if you can't find it, then come back because it's going to be posting very, very soon. I just had an offer pop up on my screen for a vintage ivory bar of soap that I got in an estate sale and they offered me $20. I think I'm going to take it. So again, this is ceramics, figurines, stuff like that. I didn't see anything that really caught my eye. I think I might have looked up one or two things, but um, nothing, nothing worth picking up. I'm not just going to buy to buy. And I have so much inventory, so I, I've been trying to be more picky. Unless it's like a really great deal or a bolo, I'm just going to pass. And it's okay to pass. I don't know. Maybe those are the people that saw me. Maybe they saw me and told on me. Do you think? Oh, my goodness. Somebody told on me. Or maybe the person that worked there just saw me recording. They're like, what is she doing? But, you know, I was just holding it and looking. I wasn't talking or anything. So I don't know. I don't know how they figured it out. People watch people. So maybe someone told on me. That's okay. You guys are going to see very, very soon what she said and what the outcome was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It caught me off guard. I will say that. She came up behind me. <laughs> oh. So these are cars. And they're priced kind of high, in my opinion. I can't remember what they were, but I was like, nope, not paying that. Mr. Potato Head. I know there's one vintage Mr. Potato Head that goes for a lot of money. I can't remember which one it is. It's in one of my videos. But yeah, they can definitely be a bolo. I think he talks. Vintage games. Definitely look at vintage games. Um, I always check the games. Playing cards. I have a bolo category on uh, video on playing cards. Some of those can go for big money. The vintage, really, and really old ones. Um, one card in particular does really well. You can check out that video to get more information on that. Um, bed bugs. I did not look that one up. I actually saw that was a, one of the workers. Um, and she didn't say anything to me. So I was thinking maybe she didn't see me. Maybe that's when she saw me. I don't even know if it was the same person that says something to me, to be honest with you. I always look in the backgammon games. Some of these can be Bakelite. Um, I do have a video on how to test for Bakelite. If you have not seen that video, definitely go check it out. It's pretty easy. Um, if you, There's different ways, but the way I show you is, is pretty easy. I know people can like rub their fingers on it really fast and it's supposed to have a certain smell, but I can never smell it. So that method does not work for me. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close to where I get caught. It's coming up. This here I had at, at the other Goodwill. I had this in my cart. 
and I almost bought it. I think it was the same exact one, actually. And uh, I, I didn't end up buying it because I didn't want to mess with counting the pieces. All right. I'm going to come over here. We're getting close. And I'm going to stop the voiceover here shortly. These are Boyd's Bears. I do pick these up at garage sales for 50 cents or a buck if they're new with tags. They had them for $4.99, $6.99, $7.99, $12.99, so I did not buy them. Just my shopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the result is in. She was completely fine with me recording. She just wanted to know what I was doing, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I just responded with, I'm videoing me shopping. Like, that's what I was doing. It sounded so silly. And she was like, oh, okay. So kind of weird. This is Pyrex. I didn't look it up. Maybe I should have. It's probably some rare pattern worth a million dollars. Oh, my goodness. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if it is. I passed on Pyrex. Did I make a mistake? That would be horrible if it was worth a lot of money. Oh, that would be just my luck. I was too busy recording and I didn't look up the Pyrex and I walked away and it was worth a million dollars. I'll be telling that story in a future video. Just kidding. I don't, I don't know. It didn't seem like a pattern I remember seeing because I've done a couple Bolo videos on patterns to look for and I don't remember that being one. So hopefully it was just a $10, $15 piece. I always check the silverware. Um, you never know. You might get lucky. Tons of books. I did not look at the books. I did not look at the movies. I just kind of scanned it for you guys to take a look at what's um, available at my Goodwill. How they have it sectioned off. I know people like to see that. Some feet going around people. So right now I'm feeling pretty confident recording because she said I could do it. So just looking at some of the different plates and dishes. I hate shipping plates and dishes, but I will pick them up if they have decent comps. Um, you can't see what I'm looking at right there, but I did look up this brand. There were some salt and pepper shakers. I thought about getting them, but it was a complete set and I didn't want to mess with the other stuff. So I passed. And let's see. Just glassware. I'm going to go over here and look at the mugs. Uh, these are out of office Ray Dunn. I did put them in my cart and then I took them out of my cart because I just didn't want to mess with glass comps. I could have sold them. They were 59 cents each. I'm not sure if these are older or I couldn't find the exact ones with the orange on the inside. I don't know if these are older or newer. Ray Dunn does okay. Like I said, I put them in my cart and then put them back. I think from now on, if I'm going to ship glass, it's going to have to be like pretty good comps because I don't like, I don't like shipping glass. I recently shipped a mug and I packaged it so good with newspaper, with bubble wrap. It was in a box that was a little bit oversized to make sure like if it got bumped, it didn't crack anything. And that thing was broken to pieces when it arrived. And I just don't have any idea how that could possibly have happened. So I put them in my cart and then I take them back out and put them back on the shelf. So I did not buy the Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn can be a bolo. This was cute. It was a little Hallmark mug. I almost bought it also. But again, if I didn't have so much inventory, I probably would have bought the Ray Dunn. I probably would have bought the Hallmark mug. But instead, I went to the next Goodwill. I walked out of that Goodwill empty handed. I am now at another Goodwill by me. Um, in my area, it's local. It's about 15 minutes from the other one. They have a big bin of plush. I kind of look through it. I didn't have any luck at these two stores. Um, I will kind of show you some of the things that I looked at just so you guys can tell me if I missed anything. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm being more conservative with what I'm buying because I have so much inventory. These books, they, I, I don't know. I, I probably could have sold those. Not for big money, but it would have been a decent bread and butter item probably. 
Sorry, there's a lot of card action going on right now. I did not get caught at this store, so everything was fine. I, I really don't know if they care at the Goodwill. But I again, I was trying to be discreet. I had it just sitting right at the corner of my cart just so you guys could kind of see see the shelves. And the glassware's all at this end. And then we're going to move down towards the toys. These were, I, I probably could have sold those. Those are um, for the baby bullet, I think it's called. But again, not something that I really need to buy. So I did pass on stuff that was probably good bread and butter items. That was kind of cool, but glass, no thanks. So yeah, you guys comment below if you see anything I missed. There's tons of DVDs. Um, I sometimes look through them. I'll look for things that are sealed. That's just plastic. I always look at glass figurines. Um, ever since I got those Burkham bunnies, I've done so well with those that if I see glass figurines, I always look for like a maker's mark or something just to see if they have good comps. I mean, I have done really, really well with those bunnies. This was kind of different some sort of ink. And um, I was like, mm, I'll maybe I'll look that up. But I opened it up and with one hand, which is kind of tricky. It was yuck, empty, yucky, no good. So I left it there. I put it back in the container, put the lid on and just moved on. Lots of scrapbooking and um, crafter stuff here. And uh, if you have not seen my Bolo category video, craft and art items to, to be on the lookout for, definitely check that out. Some of those might surprise you. Again, I love looking at the toys. There's some dolls here. I None of them were American Girl. And usually the Goodwills are pretty savvy to dolls that are Bolos. They, they kind of know. I think some of them are called like My Generation and stuff like that. Maybe a I can't remember if it's like a Target brand or what. And again, if I could pick one up for 50 cents or a buck, I, I might do it. But uh, those were not 50 cents or a dollar. You don't hardly find anything at the Goodwill for 50 cents or a dollar. There's some play sets down there, but I don't really like shipping play sets unless I know they're going to be a big money item. Checking out the games. Looking for vintage. One thing people say a lot is that they don't like buying games because they don't want to check for pieces. And I get that. It is kind of annoying. But I've picked up games and if they don't have all the pieces, I just part them out. People will still buy the parts and the pieces that they need. So let's say somebody goes into a thrift store and they really want the game and they get the game and it's missing pieces. So they go on eBay and they look for the pieces. Again, that one was not Bakelite, so I passed. That's a fun game. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. I used to play it when I was a kid, but this was kind of cool. Sent sentence games for juniors, but again, I didn't want to check to see if all the pieces were there, so I passed. I have not scored any vintage games at the Goodwill yet, but I am going to keep looking for sure. All right, we got some more cart action going on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I did look at this coat. It's Columbia. $11.99 is what they wanted for it. I'm not going to pay that. I'm too cheap. More games. More games. There was a cranium, but that one is not a bolo. Caribou is. Cranium is not. Kadu, I think it's called, is not. So yeah, I am walking out of this store empty-handed also. So not a good Goodwill day. Um, actually, you know what? I did go to one in um, that's about 45 minutes from me over by the Goodwill bins. I did decent there. That's in another so video. So as you can see, everything worked out. I did not buy anything today, but I did learn that I am allowed to record at the Goodwill. Well, at least that one. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you all real soon.